All right, well here's my rendition of the jig to cut the inside holes out. So we use the same master template that we originally had. We've got the same layout pins to hold it and everything as we did to, con to contour the outsides. And we'll set it up and do it exactly like we did them before. So I think we'll take two of them. There again, I'm sure it would cut all four fine, but let's just do two. I'm not in a big hurry. Come on now. It's all locked in place. I will have to cut this out. I think I'll probably, oh, we'll just take a unibit. I'll uh, take a big unibit. I'll open up the, the hole in there, and then we'll go back and route it out just like we did the outer contour. Okay, well we've routed the first two, let's open it up and see how we did. And there's the first two, that looks very nice, I think I'm very happy with those. Yeah, holes line up when we rotate them around pretty well. Yeah, that'll work. Work quite nicely. Okay, we'll go ahead and do the other two, and then we'll see about putting some nut plates on them. We'll deburr them and figure out exactly how we're going to lay them out. All right. Well, we've deburred the four um, pieces here. And I've actually gone and drilled out the holes to a number 20 all the way around, which will give us clearance for a, uh, for a screw. And what we're going to do is we're going to put install nut plates on the back side of them. So, and a number 20 is just oversized, or just the right size for this screw. I'll actually fit the nut plates up, click them in place, and then we'll go back and actually open those up to, to give them a little more clearance. But for right now, we're going to take and these screws are short enough that they won't engage in the locking. I don't believe they'll engage in the locks on the... Oh yeah, I guess they will. But we'll lay them out just like that. I've got a hole drilled in my block there. And we'll align those and drill them number 40. We want that hole to be a little bit bigger. There we go. There we go. Now she'll sit down flat.
first one. They are all now drilled. We'll take those nut plates off with the screws. I'll deburr these holes. Actually, I'm going to countersink these outer holes. Uh, they could be dimpled, but this is all they're doing is retaining the nut plates with two screws. They're not going to go anywhere. Um, so I'm not going to dimple them, even though it is thin material. The nut plates are not set up to be dimpled, and it'll just distort them. For this, it'll be perfect. Uh, we'll deburr the holes. I'll open up the, the clearance hole for the screws themselves and then we'll go ahead and rivet them in place. That's just the clearance holes for the screws to go through. We'll be through that center, center row of holes. There we go. That's what it looks like right before we rivet it back together. I think we'll go ahead and prime that up. Um, Got to wash it down with some lacquer. We'll hit it with some primer and get it primed up, and then we'll rivet it together.